<laughs> so, but I would say instead of putting it that way, because some people, some person challenged me on saying, "Die for humanity." That's that's a negative way to put it. Who, who would rather live for humanity? Live for humanity. I would rather live for humanity. Mm-hmm. And that's my point. Anyway, I, I want to stop and, and say once again, thank you so much for this precious time, because this really is precious time. I'm sorry, I kind of feel embarrassed that I thank you so much time. But you need to the government. But if there's any questions, I can, I can answer questions either now, Dr. Lindsay, or I can answer them individually after. It's, it's my pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we want to, uh, let's give another round of applause. Thank you. Yes, it's actually on the screen right now. It's, well, worldservice.org is our website address. We have a legal department, and please... Don't reach our legal department just because you got in a, uh, in a car accident. <laughs> that's not the kind of law that we do, um, <laughs> but that's happened in the past. If you're calling, it's because it's a question of you want us to maybe do some research on the right to self-determination. It, maybe if you have like a UCC or financial issue, maybe we could research. Like I said, that's not really our expertise. It's really trying to help people in understanding what their rights are, if they're, or if the rights have specifically been violated, and, and not necessarily by like a business, but usually by a government. That's where our expertise lies. And, our, and I don't know if I put it. Yeah, our legal department email is the word legal L E G A L at WorldService.org. But do feel free to, to contact me. And do I do apologize ahead of time if I don't get back to you immediately. Please try again. Don't give up on us. Uh, sometimes you need to send an email like that says "Attention, David, urgent," and then and then I'll get like, "Okay, it's urgent." You know, you might have, that might be the third email you send to me to make sure that we get it because we get uh, literally hundreds of calls every week. I mean, thousands of calls every week from people around the world, and you know, hundreds of emails and faxes from people all around the world who are asking for our help. And we just, with a staff of really only about ten people, we just don't have enough uh, staff to help everybody who needs our help. So, I mean, and you're, but you're empowered to do this on your own. This, uh, like uh, he was saying in the back, you know, do we have to have lawyers? No. You don't have to have lawyers. You just have to learn the law. And that's easy to do. No, All right. Uh, don't, don't go anywhere. Okay. The, uh, I'm going to ask a question. Uh, one, uh, while you're here. Sure. The, uh, there's a lot of uh, groups we have. Uh, we have in the memorandum. Uh-huh. Uh, this pointed out as we known as the throughout the UN as the NGO, right? Non governmental organization. Right. And uh, is it possible for an NGO to reach a nation state? Yes well, or no? Right. Well, Gary, I like to refer back to Gary because he's my guru. He's where I've learned a lot. Uh, he would say, non governmental means no power. I said non-governmental means no power. So to go to a non-governmental organization, don't be afraid to go to them for knowledge, for information, for support. But but to identify yourself as non-governmental, in my mind, negates the power of that. Um, The reason why I ask that for is because, as you know, we uh, the followers and we follow behind Noble Dwelly. He was the one that taught us everything. And when it comes down to the power of the difference between an organization and a government, we read our own divine conscience of our Lord that time. Okay? Organization, they've got a little bit of effort here. They can do this like our organization did what? Teach. That's what it does. More science tell that's what it does. It teaches. But it's not a nation. It's not a government. Okay? This is what you have to unfold into, like the bud unfolds to show the flower. Okay, you can start off. Now, once you talk, once you know who you are, then you have to be who you are. It's not enough to know that you're a Morris American. You must be a Morris American. That's where the nation come in at. Okay. My next question. When it comes down to the, uh, you spoke about the uh, uh, nation state, okay? Then, um, if you have, give me a moderate number, 20 million people, they're saying the same thing for being a nation of people. What happens? Well, what's the next step? Or, no, with or without the UN, what happens? Well, obviously you have some power because you've got numbers, you've got people who are supporting the ideology. Uh, I mean, in my mind, uh, you are, what, it doesn't matter what 
some other institution is doing. I mean, uh, what we're trying to do with the world government is not really to supplant the nation state system, but to offer a different tool, a different mechanism that people, if they like it, can come to. And so uh, I guess maybe the one that, way to answer that question for you is uh, the Moorish government should be providing something that whatever other government that's out there is not providing to its citizens. Uh, David, I want to, first of all, be among the first of the Moors here to thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, to give you a history here, uh, I met, I personally met the old man, I called him the old man, right? Uh, Gary Davis, who is the founder of the uh, organization, uh, at a book expo in New York uh, a few years back, about five or six years ago. And uh, at that particular book expo, I uh, was there with uh, Peter Moon and a few other people. And uh, at that time, we had our books that were being printed and published by the same firm. It was um, Book Search. Oh, book Search, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this is how I met uh, Gary Davis. And he told me at that time, when he seen the plight that we was about, uh, and, and I autographed him a couple of my books, and uh, he said at any way that his organization could be of assistance to us, to help me free them all of that, he would be there. Although he is about world citizenship. Okay. But he would, and his, he has kept his word. Okay. The World Service Organization has been very attentive and very supportive of the Marsh Americans and the people they have. Uh, for those who have gone and applied for passports, visas, we've had uh, marriage certificates. Uh, all forms of identification, okay? That's respected for 186 countries, yeah. uh, including the United States and Canada, when they want to. Not all, okay? Uh, but he, uh, um, David mentioned something very, very valuable, and I don't want you to overlook it. You have to fight for what's yours. Mm -hmm. Freedom is something that you have to fight for. No one is going to just give it to you. Okay? It don't mean picking up a gun. Been there, done that. And look at the world now for picking up a gun. People are looking for peace now at the barrel of a gun. It ain't going to happen. Okay? But when it comes down to your freedom, to your sovereign power that you found within your government, you have got to make a stand. There is no other way. You're not going to get it as an NGO. It won't happen. Okay? So again, thank you. Thank you.